So you can see the repetition is already started. Yeah, now you can see it played the video. It saw some times, yeah, right? So let's just learn about that, right? Soundtrack. So let. And in the terminal, you can see it says repeat number two. Let's wait again for 40 seconds to watch uh, this video. Wait so guys, now let's seconds. learn about date time module. Date. So guys, I hope you already watched the intro part and now we will see how you can um, install our YouTube views.py and run it, how you can run and everything in details. Okay, so let me just quickly open a browser and here, let me just open my GitHub repo. So you can see I already opened the YouTube, uh, my GitHub repo. You can just clone this GitHub repo on any uh, folder you want okay but uh, make sure you have a python 3 and peep uh, installed on your device okay and you can see in the readme.md we have uh, some thing which you need to install like selenium and all those kind of modules different modules but uh, if you don't want to install them manually you can just directly run peep3 install hyphen r requirements.txt okay let me just quickly open um, a terminal right and make sure you also have tor in your in your uh, linux distro or whatever distro you are using okay you make sure you have this tor okay tor should be running in the background because you all know that um, youtube will ban you if you are trying to watch a video multiple times uh, throughout a certain limit you know so you youtube will ban your particular ip address or uh, ask you to fill some capture or something like that so to get rid of that particular um, part you can use tor because storage must save you will hide your ip address so youtube can never block your ip address it can block the tor ip address then if you restart the tor it will be again one another ip address right so make sure tor is running in the background okay and here uh, let me just quickly go into desktop okay now you can see i am in the desktop and now if i write ls we have simple the tor one so the tor uh, shortcut i have in the desktop and now let's just clone this particular github repo okay so just copy this particular link and just write over here git clone and then that particular link okay now press enter it is gonna clone that i mean this particular github repo into your folder okay and now you need to run this particular section okay pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt okay so um yeah so this is gonna install all the required modules or you can say libraries python libraries in your uh, operating system okay so now let's run it and okay it is saying that it, it cannot run the requirements.txt because uh if i write ls you can see we have a folder called youtube views right so let's just go into that folder let me just show you over here also you can see we have a folder youtube views over here right so let's just go into that particular folder so cd youtube views okay and now write ls now you can see we have this requirements.txt right so you have to uh, run this particular code inside that particular folder okay so inside this particular github folder okay so now paste it over here and now run it now you can see it is gonna download and install all the necessary libraries and modules you can see um, for my device it is already installed and yeah they, those things are already installed anyway so you also need a gecko driver 0 0.24 uh, if you search for gecko driver the latest one currently is 0 0.28 or 29 maybe but you should not install that one because that will um, not compatible with uh, the latest version of tor okay that is compatible with the latest version of uh, firefox but that is not compatible with the latest version of tor okay so we currently need uh, 0.24 okay but in future maybe you need 0 0.25 or 0 0.26 okay i already provided a github repo of that where from where you can download it and install it so let me just quickly open it in a new tab and you can see this is a 0 0.24 gear driver official mozilla okay and go down and you, you will see this uh, particular section so from here download it for your operating system like linux mac and uh, windows okay i'm using linux 64 bit so i i'm gonna just uh, download this linux 64 one okay now click on that and save it and 
yeah now you can see uh it is successfully downloaded and installed on my device so let me just quickly open the download folder okay and now here you can see we have this gecko driver okay so let's just extract it okay extract here and now refresh this section and you can see now we have this gecko driver over here right and you need to move this thing on your uh, bean folder on um, in the user you know if i go into the file system and you can see we have this uh, user folder usr and uh, inside that we have local folder and here we have this bean you need to move that gecko driver inside the bean okay so let me just quickly do that okay so let me just open the terminal over here and now if i right ls you can see we have this gecko driver over here right so let's just uh, move it so let's just move it into the bean so for that you can just run sudo and if you are in root you don't need to run sudo also so sudo mv gecko driver then the file i mean the folder path will be usr slash local forward slash bean forward slash that's it now press enter and it is going to ask you for your password so i'm just writing my password and yeah that's it that's all you need to do now let's just close this terminal close this folder also and let's open uh, our uh, youtube views folder right so this this terminal is open in the youtube views let me just write ls and you can see uh, this is in the youtube views folder let me just write clear and then ls yeah now you can see this youtube views.py is in different color format that means this is already set up as a programmable file but uh, in your case if you see like uh, this is in white uh, text or something like that you can just write chmod plus x then the particular uh, python file okay or you can also write chmod 777 then the particular python file so anything will work now if i write ls now you can see uh, everything set up right and now make sure you also check the version of the tor uh, and uh, you know firefox and gecko driver so let me just quickly show you what is the version of for my particular device okay so i'm just writing gecko driver and hyphen hyphen version so now you can see it is 0.24 which we downloaded right now and install it i mean not install it you just need to move it to the bin folder and um let's see the tor version okay tor version and it is 0.4.4.5 and the firefox version is actually 68.11 which i am using right now okay so everything is fine you if you have this some, something uh, kind of this or if you have some um you know uh, the next version of tor actually right now this is the latest one but uh, if you are uh, watching this video after six months or something like that you may use some latest version of tor so make sure you just use a compatible gecko driver because gecko driver will cause um you know if, if you are using a wrong gecko driver this program will not run okay so gecko driver is really essential no matter what version you are using uh, in tor or firefox okay so now we have this uh, youtube views.py so let me go into the github repo and here okay one second uh, always make sure this thing is uh, open because sometimes you may need to do something manually every instruction will be written uh, in the terminal because um, if uh, your uh, browser doesn't show any kind of sign uh, option in the YouTube then this program will work uh, fine but if uh, sometimes you know uh, if uh, the browser uh, ask you to sign in uh, through your Google account in that case you just need to press no thanks and I agree so in that case uh, this bot will try to uh, you know click on the no thanks and uh, do all the stuff by itself but if it is fail then you may need to do that manually so for the first time only obviously uh, and for that you will get 30 to 1 minute time okay so let me just uh, quickly run this particular python file so you can see if to run this youtube.youtube YouTube views.py you have to write python3 youtube views.py so make sure you have python3 okay so let's just copy it and um, paste it over here and now if i run it you can see it is asking me some view uh, videos uh, link uh, how many views i want how many watch time i want and there is a specific format you have to mention that particular specific format you can't use any other format otherwise it will throw an error okay so i also mentioned the format in the github repo also you can see over here so first we need the youtube uh, video link okay then space then 
number of views you want i wrote five over here for an example then you need to write a hyphen or dash whatever you say and then you need to write the watch time in second okay i also mentioned it over here like a youtube link then space then number of views you want then dash then the watch time in seconds okay so let me just quickly open my youtube channel uh, it doesn't have that much of views i know so let me just search for diptam paul and let's just open some videos okay i'm gonna open this one uh it has a uh, 14 views anyways so let me just quickly copy this uh link from here and uh, we have this uh, section uh when you run this particular youtube views.py okay so let's just paste it over here the link obviously you need to paste the link first then number of views you want after a space okay i put a space and now i i'll just write a two okay i want two views and then hyphen the number of uh, watch time in seconds okay so i want 40 seconds of watch time for two two you know for two views okay that means it is gonna open the video play it for 40 seconds then again it is gonna open the video and play it for another 40 seconds then it is gonna close it okay that's a simple thing right so after writing the youtube video link space a uh, views hyphen watch time you can press enter okay and now you can see uh it opened uh the tor browser and you can see uh over here the youtube video url the number of repetition is two watch time in seconds is actually 40 okay and you can see it opened uh, the youtube and now you can see it it shows the uh, signing button right but you know sometimes it shows this pop-up and sometimes it doesn't so yeah when it shows this kind of pop-up it will click the no thanks button but uh, the i agree button will change every time on your ip address so sometimes this uh, bot cannot click on that a uh, particular i agree button but it is going to show you over here okay so when you run this particular python file make sure you are um, watching your terminal uh, for the first two minutes because you know you you have to uh, cancel the sign in kind of things okay so you can see we have this i agree button but let's see whether our bot can sign in or not i mean cancel it or not so you can see um it, it says that click the i agree button manually bot is not able to find it so i'll just click on this i agree button that's all you need to do this this section is only manual okay but if uh, it doesn't show any kind of pop-up then you also need don't need to do any kind of stuff everything will be done by this bot okay so um yeah it is gonna wait for 30 seconds then it is gonna open that particular video and watch it for 40 seconds for two times right so let's wait so you can see the repetition is already started and it opened that particular link which i called it should be opened right so now you can see the repetition number is one okay so this is the first repetition and we want two repetition right so let it be happened so you can see uh it opened that particular youtube video but it didn't play anything right so yeah now you can see it played the video and you may not get the sound because i turned it off it's or sometimes yeah, right so let's just learn about that right so let uh well is a variable and we will see how you can get the today's date today's time okay so to get today's date and today's time you need to write uh obviously you need to store that inside a variable so i'll use const method because today is like constant right you don't need to change it again so const today is equals to uh new date and a parenthesis okay if you don't pass anything inside the parenthesis it will fetch so only today's day today's time 40 seconds today's now everything again okay loading the web page right so it's again reloading the web page and then again it will start the number two repetition right so yeah everything works fine so now you can see it loaded that uh youtube videos again and in the terminal you can see it says repeat number two right it, it says repeat number two in the terminal and Let's wait again for 40 seconds to watch uh, this video. Let's again wait. So, guys, now let's seconds. learn about date time module. 
date time is really important in any programming language because often you need to use some dates or some times right so let's just learn about that right so let uh, well is a variable and we will see how you can get the today's date today's time okay so to get today's date and today's time you need to write uh, obviously you need to store that inside a variable so i'll use const method because today is like constant right you don't need to change it again so const today is equals to uh, new date and a parenthesis okay if you don't pass anything inside the parenthesis it will fetch only today's date today's time today's everything okay so now you can see it works for two times but i mean it get two views now it will close this browser automated browser okay so it is again refreshing and yeah now you can see it close that automated browser and you also need to close this youtube views.py to terminate this operation okay now click on this close option and it will terminate the operation okay so you got two views right and yeah that's all you need to do so let me just uh, show you what mainly you need so obviously you need to clone this github repo and then you also need gecko driver which is uh, compatible with a version of tor you are using okay and make sure tor is running in the background you don't need to open any website or anything like that make sure the tor is opened in the background okay that's all you need and yeah yeah that's all you need and make sure you are writing in this format also let me just show you what will happen if you write in another format so let me just quickly run this python file again and let me just quickly paste that um, video link and now assume i wrote a space and i want five views and again i wrote a space and i want uh, 300 seconds of watch time okay but uh, now you can see here i wrote a space but here it should be a hyphen uh, you know after the number of views since i wrote in different format it is gonna throw an error okay similar thing will happen when you write something else over here for example if i just write refinder.com without the https okay or you write a youtube video link without the https again it is gonna show you an error that your input is not valid please enter a valid url okay so yeah that's all you need to do and if you close it it will terminate uh, this particular python program okay now thank you for watching this video if you have any kind of query or you are getting some kind of errors in that case just put that error or put the query in the comment box and if i didn't reply through the comment box you can just always go into my website refinder.com and from there you can mail me or you can even whatsapp me from here i ha i have given my whatsapp uh, number over here you can just click on this whatsapp and write whatever you want to do uh, you know and then just mail me and i wrote this total program in selenium you know selenium uh, library in python and just in case if you want to learn the selenium module i just wrote uh, you know 100 lines of code for this total operation so this is not a huge and heavy module you just need to write a few lines of code in python to make this kind of really cool projects right so to learn selenium you can obviously go into my website refiner.com then click on these courses and then uh, go down a little bit and you yeah now you can see we have this selenium module to automate browser tutorial over here and yeah it is an intermediate level tutorial so i will expect that you have some kind of python basic knowledge like how to use for loops if else statement and those kind of stuff right if you have the the basic knowledge you can just go and enroll in my course and it's really cheap it's like uh, two dollar less than two dollar even so you can just enroll there and and learn it from there okay thank you for watching this video make sure give a like and if, if this video is really helpful for you please share it with your friends or office colleagues who whoever is new in youtube and want to increase the watch time